Hello, dummies. Cannot tell you why I'm this jazzed. Cause yes, we did have our 14th straight loss against the Chiefs, losing 34 to 28. But does it feel like a loss? Absolutely not. I don't know why not. You know, I haven't been this jazzed after a game, even after one of our three wins of the season. So why in the world do I feel this way? Well, typically that's a question I reserve for my therapist, but today we're digging in together, dummies. Let's go. Could this euphoric feeling be coming from the fact that this is the first time since last December that we have scored four touchdowns? You bet. Could it be coming from the fact that we intercepted Mahomes Holmes three different times? I'm sure that helps. Could it be the fact that we had more third down conversions on the first drive of the game than the entire previous game against the Ravens? That's a key factor. Could it be that we finally got to see the Denver Broncos perform at the level that everyone expected them to for this entire season? That's the one. That's the winner. Ding, ding, ding. The Des Euphoria, the Euphoric Des. That's why. We figured it out together, dummies. Nux. Cool. Sick. I don't care that we were down 27-0 at one point. I don't care that Mahomes is 10-0 against the Broncos. And I don't care that this was our fifth straight loss. Um, and actually, I take that back. I shouldn't say I don't care. I should say I don't care as much. Sure. All I care about is that Sunday reignited Broncos country's love for this team. It's a Christmas miracle. It really is. Jerry Judy's hat trick of touchdowns this game. He scored as many touchdowns in this game as he has his first two years in the league combined. Also, his three touchdown performance was the first of any Broncos player since Demarius Thomas, who we were honoring at this very game. God, goosebumps, I have goosebumps. Josie Jewell had his very first interception of his entire career and he didn't just have one. No, 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 he was like, hey, wanna see me do that again? And then he just got another one, just cause, why not? And with all the injuries we have, it was essentially our second and third string players out there. And we were once again within one score of beating one of the top three teams in the NFL. Do you feel the Christmas spirit around? I do. But the main thing we saw in this game was Russell Wilson give it his all. Here we were, 12 minutes left in the fourth quarter, and we were on our way to score a touchdown. Wilson avoids it and going to run for it. First down. He gets injured. They were calling for the athletic trainer right away. And he has to leave the game due to concussion protocol. I am not saying in any way that Russell had to put his body on the line in order to win over Broncos fans. But at that moment, I think there was a shift in Broncos country where we truly saw, wow, like this guy is in it to win it. I believe in him. And that, that is what I'm jazzed about. Jazz. Jazz, smooth jazz. Not smooth, chaotic jazz. Not chaotic jazz, more like pumped up jazz. That's how I feel right now. Well, last few games of the season, Sunday we face the 4-9 Cardinals, so yes, of course I'm gonna say there is a chance. Why don't we end the season on a high, or a mid to high note? Not exactly high, There, it can be mid to high, why not? And as always, Broncos country, let's ride.